Do you think continue to decide with the partial differentiation? Sometimes you come to cause a problem in which those problem they ask us to find the equation of the tangent plane and the normal line to a surface. So in this video, we're going to see what is the physical interpretation of this kind of problems and we're going to see an example of a real life application of such kind of problem. So before you go ahead, I just want to show my highest appreciation from the people of A7 Science that have been supporting the channel and it's been a lot, so a huge thank for them. Now coming back to the problem. So I'm going to see the first of all the opening statement in which basically we're asked what do we understand when the problem is that we have to find a tangent plane in the normal line to a surface which is x squared plus 2y squared plus 3z squared minus 12 is equal to 0 at the point 1 2 minus 1 and then the answer is given to us so the answer here is given directly because the main purpose of this video is not how to solve or go to the steps of how to solve problems concerning to the equation of tangent plane in the normal line but it is to understand what it actually means when we are asked to find this kind of problem so it can have an interpretation of what we are doing and to show what is the real meaning of physical meaning you can use an example of a tablet and a tomato so imagine that you go to the kitchen and then you want to prepare something let us you want to prepare a salad and while you want to prepare a salad you just follow instructions from a youtube channel which is telling you how to do it so what you do most of the time is because your hands will get wet because you're going to be dealing with vegetables washing them and everything so you are not able to hold your tablet in your hands while you are doing all of those things. So what you will do in that case, you will take your tablet and you will put your table over something. So when you support your tablet in something, if that thing is a surface, the tablet may be flat and there will be an area contact. But if that thing that you are supporting your table is some kind of a curved surface, you are going to have a line contact. This line contact is if we're having a, a cylindrical body, but if we're having some shape in which it's more of a um, spherical, in that case, what we're having is a point contact. So you have surface contact, it's flat, and you'll have a line contact, it's something like a cylindrical body, and you also have a point contact if you have something like sphere. So what we'll do in that case, we can say you'll put your tablet, let us consider this being your tablet, and then this is a tomato. So this is a tomato and this is your tablet and then this is you you are looking to see what YouTube is telling you to do this is your mini hands and this is what you're saying your eyes are looking to your tablet of course this tablet is magnified here but I think get a picture so as you're looking to this tablet this tablet is being supported on a tomato and they have a point of contact there's some point of contact here so in this case the tomato is our surface which is this equation here and this tablet is the plane which is tangent because it's touching this tomato in a specific point and this point is this given point here one two and minus one this point is being given to us because you have many options on where to put your tablet you can just turn around the tomato and then you put your tablet in another different point so in this kind of case, what we do is just we consider a coordinate system Z, this will be Y, this will be X. We can locate this specific point. So you are placing your tablet at this specific point on the surface of the tomato and you are going to have a normal line. It's not perfect but you have a normal line. So what is the deal in this? The deal is that this surface you are finding here, the tablet, the tablet is not, is not extending only in this direction. It also extends in this direction. And the contact is in a point here. So what we are finding when we find the equation, the normal with the tangent plane in a normal line, is that we are finding exactly how such thing is, 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 is supported over a curved surface and what is its orientation and its orientation is given by the normal line if you try to simulate it in a graph to see what basically it shows us mathematically because all these equations that we have represented there tangent plane and even on the normal line they can be represented in a graph and if you try to plot it in a graph what you're going to have is that that surface we're talking about that is expressed by that equation that we have seen is this kind of surface this is the surface represented by the equation we have seen. In the example, we use tomato, but in real life, that if you plot the graph of that equation, you're going to have a surface like this. So in this surface like this, we decide to put a plane. It's 
supporting a, pl a plane on a, on, a, on, a, on a surface like this as you can see because of its curved shape it cannot have a line nor a surface contact it can only be a point contact and that's when we support our plane and our plane is here is here as you can see we have a specific point in which we have this contact between these two surfaces so this point here is the point of contact Now you may ask, why do we use this, what is the need of this and what is the purpose of finding the equation the line within the tangent plane into that surface. So as I said earlier on, this helps us to know the orientation of such plane, it helps us to know the point of support of that plane. So coming back to our problem, so if we are given the surface in which we have to find the tangent plane and we're also given the point of contact we can now find how the plane is located in that, in that surface and you can also find its orientation after we are given the equation of the normal line